A cappella music long ago hit the mainstream, but this week it's even blasted to the top of the Billboard 200 pop charts. How did that happen? Jeffrey Brown has the story of Pentatonix. <laughs> Yeah. I'm Kirsten. I'm Scott. I'm Mitch. I'm Kevin. I'm Avi. Together they are Pentatonics, a group aiming to ride the a cappella wave into pop stardom. Yeah. We've never thought like how can we be the best a cappella group. Right. We've always thought like how can we compete with Taylor Swift and Rihanna? Like how can we Oh really? Um, yeah, I mean, that we've kind always of yeah. Oh, for Exactly, sure. yeah. Oh, you're an they first gained notice in 2011 with an appearance on NBC's competition show, The Sing On. Then, with music videos and covers of top 40 hits, found their way to a large, loyal audience through YouTube. Next, they turned to a more traditional pop route, making albums and selling more than 2 million. And their Christmas album, at one point, overtook megastar Taylor Swift's for number one in 2014. Along the way, they won a Grammy Award for Best Arrangement and appeared in the movie Pitch Perfect 2. I think it's been interesting too to see people's perspectives on this type of music change, like with Glee coming out initially. I remember Glee came out when we were, we were in seniors school. in high school and like we were like in show choir and seniors and we were like, oh yeah, this is it's awesome. It's finally cool. It's finally cool. <laughs> we did it, you know. And so Did that you say kind of, this is us? We could do this? No, right literally no. when the when the pilot came out for Glee, I think we had a watching party or something. We yeah. were all all the seniors and everyone else in Show Choir were so excited. We were yeah. like, this show is awesome. It's it was so essentially cool. what this we is exactly were already us. Doing. Yeah. yeah. So I think that really opened up um, kind of this like different chapter of music. You call, you won't put this no one home when you're not gonna reach my telephone. Kirsten Maldonado, Scott Hoying, and Mitch Grassi first met as high school students in Arlington, Texas. We um, originally joined together for an acapella trio um, for a radio competition in Texas that we lost, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, and the rest is history. And the rest right? is history. <laughs> but I remember one instance where we were singing and rehearsing and we um, called a couple friends into the room and we were like, okay, you guys, we need to, like, we need your opinion. Like, is this good? Should we even enter? And they were like, after we sang, they were like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Like, you guys have truly something special. The group members, all of whom came to this with music lessons or theater experience as kids, believe a big part of a cappella's appeal is its back-to-basics approach, very different from most of today's pop music. Kevin Olushola and Avi Kaplan, who joined the three original friends later on, explain. We live in a society where music is very, very overproduced. You know, there's so many electronics. Overproduced? I th in, in, in a yeah. sense, there's a lot of electronics. And I mean, obviously, I, I love the electronic sound, and as we do too, but I think there's a lot of people that kind of want a more organic sound. And so we think that we can provide that in this kind of music industry that we're in. We can kind of be that solace for people that say, oh, I don't want to listen to that, that so electronic, overproduced sound. I want to listen to something a little bit more raw and, and pure. And, and that's kind of how we fill that void mm -hmm. in this industry. People just want something that is just kind of a little more humble, you know, and we, we just humble? kind of... Humble? Yeah. I mean, you're, 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 you are out there. I mean, you're sort of, and you, and you know, <laughs> you, you, I've seen the videos and it's like, you know, I mean, it's fun and it's kind yeah. of, it's loud in a sense yeah it, 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 is, it is loud in a sense and we we do do the flashy type of thing yeah but at the end of the day we are just you know 20 somethings singing choir music you know what i mean and we just have made it a different thing <laughs> yeah. you know um and so it's it's really just kind of taking it back to the most organic form of music and it's coming straight from us we are we are our instruments you know i mean okay. we, we see ourselves as really just a band we just happen to use our voices and you can travel more lightly you're yeah, right. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And cheaper. How does it work? Well, we got a demonstration. <laughs> so we're most inspired by like the groove, the beat, or at least that's what inspires me. And so we'll go. start with Kevin, <laughs> and then we'll add the bass line, so we have that chord progression. And then we have two background parts. 
And then we just lay the solo on top. Maybe I'm too picky, honey. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I'm not in the world choice. <laughs> With their newly released album, the group is trying something new, writing and performing their own songs. But mine's cracked. I know we want to just show our artistry. We like all have very different tastes in music. Like we're so eclectic in what we do, and we wanted to show that. Before we did covers, and but that's someone else's song and that's someone else's words. And now we're telling stories about our relationships and about um, what we love to do and who we are as a band. And that's really cool. I feel like, especially in our live shows, it's going to be so fun singing these songs and seeing people sing our words. I mean, I'm thinking that every day there's like another YouTube sensation, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, totally. You know, yeah. There's oh, this, yeah. everything, this went viral, this went viral, this went viral. How do you avoid just being a YouTube sensation? How do you sustain? <laughs> oh, I yeah? feel like we're working yeah. on that That's right the now. best time of the moment? <laughs> yeah. We're in that transitional period right yeah. now. Yeah. Are you all in this for the long haul? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, we want to make our mark in the music industry. They plan to continue making that mark when they release their next Christmas album later this year. In New York City with Pentatonix, I'm Jeffrey Brown for the PBS NewsHour. One, two, three. <laughs> Tell me, am I going crazy? Uh-huh. Yeah, tell me, have I lost my mind? Yeah. Am I just afraid of loving? Uh-huh. Yeah, am I not the love kind? Yeah. Kissing in the moonlight, movies on a late night, you know. Uh -huh. I've been there, done that, supposed to be hot, but it's just cold. Yeah. Somebody wake up my heart, light me up, set the fire to my soul. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cause I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Give me that can't sleep, though. Give me that can't sleep. I want that can't sleep, though. Give me Give me that kiss when I dream about all day The kind that keeps me up all night Give me that kiss, sleep, love Yeah Maybe I'm too picky, honey Uh-huh yeah, But I'm not in the world change hey. ah, ah. I'm not in it for the money Ooh, I'm here looking for the real thing Kissing in the moonlight, movies on the late night, yeah, ooh. It's getting on. I've been there, done that, supposed to be high, but it just goes. So, 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 call. Somebody wake up, my heart light me up, set the fire to my soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Give me that can't sleep, blow. Give me that can't sleep, I want that can't sleep, blow.